It took us three and a half hours to drive from Split to Dubrovnik. After a spectacular drive from Split, we arrived in the ancient, walled, medieval city of Dubrovnik on the beautiful coast of the Adriatic Sea. After finding a hotel and having dinner, we still had some time to explore the city that evening. With the much smaller crowds walking down the echoey streets at night by lamplight gave it a relaxed feeling and time seemed to stand still. Dubrovnik. After a good night's sleep and filling up on pastries, we headed back into the city of Dubrovnik. Nestled between the Adriatic and the Dinaric Alps, it's often called the Pearl of the Sea. The small old city is pedestrian accessible only and can easily be explored by foot in a day. Our highlight in Dubrovnik was our 1.2 mile walk around the city on the medieval walls which completely encircle it. The walls are up to 13 to 20 feet thick and the system of turrets and towers were intended to protect the vulnerable city. The historical cannonballs and cannons are testimonies to the city's past history of defense. Our walk along the wall gave us excellent views of the terracotta roofed houses in the sparkling Adriatic Sea. The protective city walls give safe harbor to the many fishing boats. We never got tired of wandering through the labyrinth of marble walkways and there was always something unique around every corner. Talk about a restaurant with a view, this beats them all. If the beer wasn't so expensive, I would have spent the whole day here. Dubrovnik.
As much as we enjoyed our visit to Dubrovnik, it was time to move on to Kotor, Montenegro. 